Hi everyone, I am Ochoa Stevie. Today I'll be sharing with you the step-by-step -step method you can use to check your results online. So, uh, the first thing you need to do, I'm going to show you here, is um, you know, the step number one is that you need to have a computer or a laptop with an internet connection. Because what we are doing is trying to check the results online. So you need to have a computer with an internet connection. So your step two is what? You need to open your browser. So here, you need to open your browser. So here, if you look at here, you will see my Mozilla Firefox. Then here, you see your Google Chrome. So <coughs> you can use any of them, but personally, I like using Mozilla Firefox. But don't use Internet Explorer or Edge. You know, they are going to frustrate you. So use either Mozilla Firefox or use Google Chrome. So here I open my Mozilla Firefox. So the next thing I will do is to what? Is to enter the school URL, the school web address, which is I'm going to show you here on the screen, which is www. So I believe you can look at this very well. www.sempatricksenugu.com. So this is the URL. So once you come, as I've opened my browser, I will I will type the URL, which is www.sempatrick. So you can see the school website is open so you can always you know go to the new section and navigate around the website uh, around the website or within the website so um once this is open then you go to the menu look at where i'm clicking so you get to the when you get to the menu you take the next step which is what entering the student portal so i'm going to enter the student portal now so once i enter the student portal it opens a place where it's asking me to what? Enter my username and my password. So very important, every child will be given a username and a password. So whenever your child comes back from, uh, come, gets home for holidays, request for the username and password because the school will be issuing each child their own username and password. So I, I will use, username and password I've created for myself just for the testing purpose to demonstrate to you so but that is exactly what you are going to see something like this you can see the username which is sparkle203879 and my password is what step 81995 so something is peculiar the username always starts with what be very careful here because the username always starts with, starts with Sparkle. Sparkle. Because some people will go and make this uh, O zero. If you make the O zero, it will not give you access. So you must start with what? Sparkle. So you do, you write your Sparkle and the uh, preceding number. So the password always starts with something, you know, with some letters that you find in your name. So my name is Stephen. Uh, my, my name is Stephen, and it is starting here with what step, which is few letters you see in my name. So be very careful, especially here. This is O, not zero. So always be conscious of that. So I'll now copy this. I'll type in this my username, but because of speed, I'll type in this my username here. Then type in my password which is a step, it's, which is step 81995. So I'll type in my password and I'll ask it to what? Login. It will pop up something like uh, this. Once it pops up something like this, continue. So, 
as you can see it has landed me on my page this is my own portal my school portal so this is personally for myself so so will your own son's own be so it is personal so once you open it you see something like this. so you'll be able to do what you know you see your profile do registration you can learn online do assessment check your results then take computer based tests um, videos and you know, can play them so but we are more, more uh, focused now on how to check results so i'm going to show you how you're going to check your results so you click on what check result so this is the check result page so the next thing i'll need to do what is to click on my what view report card so this is my view report card i'll click on it that the name is my name Stephen Douglas so this is how you're going to see the result so with the accompanying newsletter so once the results opens up like this so the next thing you need to do what is to go to print you can print it out so if you're in a cyber cafe or you have a printer in your house that is connected to your computer you can select the right printer and print it out but if you are not in a cafe, you're... if you're in a cafe, make sure you print it out and have a hard copy. But if you are at home and you have your own computer, it may not be necessary for you to print it out. You can just create a folder where you'll be saving all these results. So you can always print it to what? PDF. So personally, I like printing to PDF. You can print to PDF, you can print to XPS document, but I want to print to PDF. So I'll select print to PDF. I'll ask it to print. I'll give it my name, Steven JS1 first Save in my probably in my created folder. Let me use a folder I already have. So I'll save in my folder. So remember, you go to print, you can print to PDF, you can print to SPS, but I advise you print to PDF and save it on your laptop or your computer depending on the one you have but make sure it is your personal computer or laptop but if you are in a cyber cafe ask them to print it out uh, to print it out so they will have to select the right uh, printer or if it's at all you can just save it as pdf anytime you want to see it you can always go there and what access it so if i should go to my um, desktop and go to my to the folder where I have it, you can see it here. So you can see it here, it's already on this folder. So if I ask it to open, I can open it with what? I chose, I use Chrome to open it, so I opened it once, Chrome. So if you just save it on PDF, you can open with Chrome, you can open with Mozilla, you can open it with uh, Acrobat Reader or PDF Reader. You know, it's just a choice. So you can be saving these documents like this all the time. So I believe with this, you can be able to check your child's results online. Thank you very much.